Okay, so today I've just planted some little watercress. Tonight, showing you how tiny those little orange seeds are. They're so tiny. They're as tiny as carrots. I think it was easy to put the carrots in. Um, so I've just planted those. Oh, they're so tiny. Um, according to the map, like it's an all year round, but according to the packet map, where I am, which is pretty much sort of between the blue and this purpley area, maybe a little more in the green, it's not meant to grow in winter, but coming towards about, we're about mid-winter now, I think, what are we, June, July, we're in July, it's almost the end of July, so, now it's winter, but I'm planting them, and we'll see if they will grow, so they were very tiny to put in. Um, I've never eaten watercress, so I don't even know if I like it. But I have finally just moved a few other new additions. So my coriander, I've moved into a nice decorative pot that I got for two dollars from Bunnings. Um, this was a fifty-cent plant. Uh, apparently, I'm not sure what it is, but. See how it goes. Just thought I'd get some flowers in here, get them grow. It was 50 cents, so I didn't want to go past that. Um, I also spent a little extra, I think I spent about four dollars on this one, and got some lavender, um, mostly so I can sort of, when I'm having trouble sleeping, maybe come and get a little bit of the fresh lavender and uh, hopefully it'll help me sleep. So that's one, and I got this big pot. If you see my big potato pot, <laughs> this one's slightly smaller, I put my kumquat in it. They were $8 and they're actual pots, it actually was advertised as a pot. Found it in the clearance section. So I've got two of them, um, I've just put this up here to get some sunlight, apparently it's another one of the watercress family, didn't even know, I just saw flower and it was 50 cents. So Nastrum Flame, so apparently it's similar to watercress family but um but move that one down later before the wind breaks it and last but not least definitely spent the most money on this one so this was in the clearance normally these are about 20 30 dollars i got it for 14 so i took the effort and thought no i need to spend it i probably spent a lot more getting individual pots for these so this was the uh co is it cos lettuce yeah, all the cos lettuces. So every single one, it fit quite nicely. Um, so I, that's what I've done today. Some new additions, moved some things around, got some new pots, bought some uh, more economical fertilizer. So I went for not the organics because the organics had um, some little stipulation on it. Of allowances of it not being 100% organic so I chose for that reason not to get it I don't really want to sort of want to avoid some of these genetically modified foods for as long as possible they will come into the system but um trying to avoid them <laughs> I want as much natural as possible but um it's still better than going to the supermarket where I've got more of a chance of getting them okay so really happy with what's growing everything's doing well um, a lot of the broccoli sort of are looking a bit wilted so broccoli that was the one that was not doing too well and I did the um, sort of like a back to Eden approach with making sure the soil is covered ah I forgot about that one you know Pot this one up in a bigger pot and yeah <coughs> I moved all my broccolis around but as you can see they're not all doing so great I don't know these ones are doing beautifully even though I moved them up higher in this one as well and that one and actually in here I think it's a watermelon seed this one here I found the shell to it Anyway, can't find it right now. But it's not an apple. I'm pretty sure 
It looked like an apple seed, it was brown, but I can't remember. Occasionally I just stick random seeds. <laughs> and of course I know that what's in here, I've put strawberry, like dead strawberries in there, so I don't know if they're strawberry plants. And I've also put a dandelion in there, so don't know what's growing. But if a dandelion grows, the guinea pigs can eat it. If the strawberry is, well, great. <laughs> uh, they're normally very hard to grow. They do look a lot like strawberries. Because I did do strawberries once upon a time. But couldn't transplant them. They weren't very good at being transplanted. So, not sure. See what happens when they're bigger. These sunflowers are doing better. But I think they need a bigger pot. They need deeper ground. So I'm going to plant them in the front of the house eventually. So, that's where I'm at. This one's going huge. Now, the other reason why I planted these sunflowers, as you can see, I've plucked a lot of these leaves that are, well, they're bigger than this. As big as my hand, uh, I've been using it to feed the guinea pigs. So this is how I have some sustainable pet food. So just an idea, looking forward to what spring's gonna do. I'm gonna have a lot. <laughs> Well, happy gardening and keep on growing. Bye.